WM2050, I guess. CW. It's got some grub we have to get out of there. I'm not going to throw the dog in there. You're a good dog. I'm not going to do that. We're not going to wash the dog in the washer. No, we got the watt meter hooked up. Sitting and drawing 7.7 .7 watts. Let's put on normal. We don't have any hot water, so we're just going to put this on cold anyways. And then soil level normal. Let's put the extra water button and let's start it up. It should go through a load sense. Roll it over. Yep. Look at the number of watts. Cool. This may bomb out because it's on a ground fault. Okay, I understand. I've got one that's similar to this, a different model. And we've got soap in there, I think. So what I was doing when I first got this thing, the, the, uh, it wouldn't pump out. There's no water. Oh, okay. That's it. Turn the water on. They didn't have the water hooked up. Yeah, I got something to do in here. I made a mistake. Have to stop it here. We didn't have the water. Then water turned on in the other building. Over again. Turn it on. Normal. Add water plus, and this doesn't have. We only have water, hot water hooked up because it's through a line we have over here. We're just testing this out, make sure we don't have any massive leaks and flood the cabin. Put a little less so we have a shorter cycle. This is a watt hour meter hooked up with a camp clamp probe here through a little adapter here clamping the neutral. So it's current sense and I'm using an old piece of extension cord in here for the voltage sense. So it's started up seven or eight kilowatt or watt hours. So the cycle's 59 minutes. And this is the water getting sprayed into the deal. Got some uh, tide, tides in, dirt's out. Dirt can't hide from intensified tide. This again, this is the pump we just replaced. So one. Slipping on the hub. So we didn't pull this thing. I'm gonna have to try to pull this off the screwdriver, see how it's attached. It was grabbing and not grabbing the rotor. So it wasn't pumping out. So it'd be a got a sense that it was overflowed. Okay, it says 51 minutes left. Cotton normal, cold, spin level, soil level. 17 watt hours. This is the hub on the old one. Had a bunch of black goop down in there. got an o-ring from the side 
This is a piece of brilliant copper spring that came out. There's another O-ring. So this may have a slip clutch or something. It's not just like it's bonded together on there. So maybe in case something gets in there, it's going to not, it's going to shear off. But it looks like it's molded to the end. I kind of picked some of that out with the end of a pocket knife. It's got a lot of just little pieces of, um, looks like debris, piece of brilliant copper spring hoeing. And that's a little key feature. And I've kind of cleaned that off with a rag. This goes on here like this. This is what was grabbing, turning free and then grabbing, and then turning free and grabbing. So the discharge uh, pump would, would pump and then not pump. So that must be some type of clutch or something. This is evidence here. We may have put too much soap in there. The water police. Madison, Madison, Mississippi Water Police are out there looking for us. Madison County. No, this is Madison. We're in an apartment in Madison, Mississippi. The Water Police! Uh -oh. We're testing this head here on the porch because I've learned if you have a washer, unknown origin, you don't have a big massive leak. I didn't put that much soap in there. Filled the soap dispenser about on here. It was just, I think it was just a normal. I didn't see what was put in there. Mine doesn't have that much soap. Found on roadside. This is the motor pull it out. This is a rotor. There it is. We just have it going out in the grass here in the woods in a cabin. The pump is working! Da -da -da -da! So it was making this noise before, but there was nothing. It would spurt out some water. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's working. Okay. So, cool. and so here's the magnet. But if anybody knows how this little clutch deal works, I'm kind of interesting. The, the new one, when you turn this around, would just cog, and I'll put a mark on it, would have a zero torque place with no energization every 180 degrees. Probably got two poles in. It doesn't look like it's seared off. So this might be designed to shear, such that if you had somebody um, take the filter out and then you had a penny or something go through there, they're probably just going to shear this, not turn off and maybe not burn the motor up or cause an issue. Because it could sit there and rub and cause a, you know, maybe you could actually heat the plastic up and who knows what could happen, maybe burn the motor up. So it's designed to shear, so I think that's designed. And this is the powder or whatever that was inside there. It was a bugger to get this sucker off. You couldn't just pry this off. I went through and took a pair of pliers. I actually pulled a whole bunch, and you could get the whole assembly out. But to get this separated, uh, I had to basically break this apart to where all this crumbling crud came out. Twenty two one hours. And we don't have this is not entirely balanced. There's a pump. There's a model. 
This is a service manual I downloaded, found it on just Google for this model. This last ending here is usually just the color configuration a lot of times. First got this, it would give a drain error. OE, not fully drained with 10 minutes. You hear the pump running, and then it would try to pump over and over again. It, it shot out some water, but not very much, because the rotor was uh, spinning, but not, you know, the impeller was not fully latched to the shaft. It would grab and not grab. Okay, now it's in spin mode. This cabin's porch is jumping around like a dancing around. This hasn't changed very much because it, as it goes through the cycle, this is not an absolute timer. This little thing anticipates, predicts what the time it's going to take to finish. So if it takes longer to do something, it can go through and uh, change the time. Thirty-two watts. So we got some suds. What's up? Look at that! A lot of water. So I got the add water button, which I really like to use. Mm -hmm. Okay. Look at that! It's almost like an old-time washing machine. It's actually got water in it. I wonder if this is before the, the this is from 2010. Mine, I think mine's from 2011 or 12. I think mine's from 2011. This, the date on the computer, the uh, module in the electronic box said 2010, so this may be from 2009 and maybe uses more water. Yeah. Yeah, look at the bright side. I think it washes better when it uses more water like that. The water police. Where's the water police? Somewhere. Walmart bleach. We didn't use any. We're watering the yard here in the woods, yep. Madison, Mississippi. And I think we've got non HE detergent in here, and that's why so much suds. It's regular tide, screw up. First in the history. First time a pump has ever failed in a washing machine, ever on the planet Earth. I like that for BS. Yeah. Think about it this way. Yeah, I think they didn't use high. The soap was put in there. It was not HE stuff for front loaders by mistake. Here's the pump. That's why I got too much suds because we didn't use HE soap. Screw up. No, it's exciting. There's the 25 minutes. Raining out. In the forest. Man, I still got suds in there. Not good. That's non H E H E soap. Twenty-four minutes. So the drain pump works. And before it sounded just the same as if there was no water coming out. The pump was running. The power was intermittently catching and not catching on the shaft of the motor. So this was spinning and this guy would spin and then not spin. Porch. And over here we have a, a skink. There's no sensor to detect this is open or closed or not. I can figure it out.
53 watt hours. It is in 15 minutes. Still in the rinse mode. 62 watt hours. Still got a lot of suds because the wrong type of soap was put in there probably. There's the drain pump. Pumping like mad. It was doing this before, but black motor was spinning, but it was uh, slipping on the hub. And we moved the filter thing there. There was nothing stuck in it, so prior owner, I'm not sure if they had something stuck in there or that was just a heated up and something broke. 14 minutes. Spin mode here. Spin. Seven minutes to go, supposedly. There's power in about 300 something watts. Power, energy's gone way up because it burns a lot of energy in spin. There's the spin speed. This washer I do not think has a heater inside. So I think if you hook this to the warm and hot cold, I think it uh, just uses the temperature of the two hoses. I was looking at the schematic early, couldn't find if it has any internal heater. What you call extraction. See, max power consumption here claimed to be 280 in washing. I don't think this has got a heater. There it is. 320. 4 amperes. They could say 4 coulombs a second, but they don't do that. Well, looks like it works. You pump. I guess if you're on a desert island, you could pull this and, and put some uh, epoxy and glue this on. It must have some type of shear deal on there because that's not normal like in this. It must be designed to slip or shear or something. A little spring and everything on there. There it is slowing down. Three minutes to go. Now it's going to do the detangle. See the power's way down, quarter of an amp. What you could do is use this just to uh, uh, polish brass for ammo. You get small arms, go through, put shells in there, and spin them around. It's already through the rinse. This is what they call, I think, the detangle. Well, you walk up and you don't know what the heck it's doing. Yeah, it's just running the drum, the drain a little bit, but it's just going back and forth to try to get the detangles what it's doing. I think a waste of time. I think you just hit the button, turn it off, and get it out of there. One minute to go. I think it's really burning up power. 15 watts. 106 watt hours. I think it started at 8. 82 watt hours. And what's the warranty on this? 10 year warranty on the drive. True balance. Wash delay. Come on, come on, come on. It's probably mostly the pump. Pumps 30, 40 watts. And look at that, mine doesn't say that. That 
Ta da! We're all done with the LG. I'm gonna clean some of this stuff out of here with Clorox in the boot. These really need to be left open. Clear out the crap in there. That's probably a date code if I had to guess combined with the serial number. Not sure. Oh, in here. Probably 2011. 144th day if I had to just guess. So we had a 104 watts hours and it started about 8.